Hey there, Elizabeth Scala here from elizabethscala.com. I want to talk today a little bit about something maybe a little harder to concept, con, con, a concept that's harder to grasp. It's a little more abstract than some of the previous videos these past several months. Um, it's just, and it's not difficult, so please don't turn off. It's just about the power of thought. And I want to break it down in an example that I haven't used before in my videos that hopefully will help for you. So our thoughts influence how we act because when we have a thought, when we start thinking about something, those mental thoughts conjure up feelings and then our action is based off feelings. So it goes thought, feeling, action. Okay. Here's an example. A physician, let's call them Dr. Jones, left a patient in a room, left the patient and left. And you're thinking, here we go. You're thinking, I can't believe Dr. Jones left the patient. Dr. Jones is always leaving patients. Dr. Jones doesn't talk to me. Now I have to go in there and figure out what to tell the patient or I have to call Dr. Jones and I just can't believe this. Why does Dr. Jones always do this? Your mind is on a roller coaster ride of thought. What happens next? I can't believe Dr. Jones does this. This doctor does it all the time. I got to go talk to this patient. I really feel irritated with Dr. Jones. I'm feeling so frustrated that now I have to do this research to figure out when they're coming back and what they're telling the patient and what the plan is. I resent that Dr. Jones acts this way. It adds more time. I feel so overwhelmed. Okay. You see that you have all those thoughts. You're feeling frustrated. You're feeling resentful. You're feeling overwhelmed, stressed, tired, upset, angry, irritated with Dr. Jones. Got it? Thoughts are thinking are influencing how we feel. Now what happens? We see Dr. Jones. Of course we have to work professionally. We're the nurse. We're going to do our best. Keep it collegial. Keep it PG. Uh, but what happens? If you see Dr. Jones in the hallway, you're less likely to say, Hey, Dr. Jones, how you doing? If there's a project and you need a physician colleague on the team, you're less likely to invite Dr. Jones. So sure, you're working together. You're working alongside of each other, but are you working together? Are you building and strengthening and, and cultivating that relationship to the point where, gosh, Dr. Jones is doing research projects and you're on the team, your team's doing QI and you ask for physician input and you guys are having a great, respectful, working, fun relationship? Not likely. If your thoughts are, I can't believe they do this all the time. I feel so frustrated. I'm going to avoid them. So my encouragement to you because of this video is to just kind of pause. Think about your thoughts, if possible, in the moment. Breathe. Okay. Where is your mental mind going? Is it on a broken record loop of, let's be honest, negativity? Is it reactionary? Are you like, I'm putting up the defenses? Think about your thoughts. Okay. That's all I really wanted to talk about with you today. Notice your thoughts, realize they impact how you feel and how you feel ultimately impacts your behavior. If you want to explore this further, I continuously blog, um, post a lot of information on these concepts on my blog at elizabethscala.com. This is what I speak about in my nursing from within presentations um, and share some more strategies to help you through this. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.